Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're going to be going over the 2019 Nissan Rogue. And then first and foremost, big shout out and thank you to Tim Daly Nissan of Murray for providing us with the vehicle to review today. If you are in the market for a Nissan, definitely check these guys out. They will hook you up. But as always, we will do a quick walk around on the vehicle, go over all of the features, then we'll take out the Rogue on a drive to see how the 19 Rogue drives. If you are stopping in for the first time, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Popping under the hood of the Rogue, we're going to see a 2.5 liter four cylinder. It's gonna be routed through a CVT transmission. Power output figures are gonna be 170 horsepower and 175 pound feet of torque. And then in terms of fuel economy, you're gonna get 26 city and 33 in the highway, which is actually really, really good for an SUV. To wrap things up with the front, again, you're gonna get these nice LED accent lights with the projector bulbs. And there's actually two sets of projector bulbs for your high beams and your low beams. The turn signal is integrated right next to there. And then you do get fog lamps down below. And then that same kind of like smiley face with the chrome on the front that Nissan does with all of their vehicles. And then they do have more chrome down below for design that just looks really good. And I kind of like the design of these newer Rogues. They just have a much more kind of like aggressive design for an SUV and so it just makes the car look sportier. So coming out to the back, we can look at the key fob. You have your remote start up top, your lock and unlock, and then you have your tailgate release down below with your alarm system. And again, if we lock the car first and then you hold down the remote start button, It'll take a moment, but that 2.5 liter will come to life. And then if you do want to shut it off again, you just have to hold down the button again. Another button that you can hold down is the tailgate release. So you hold that down and that will open up the tailgate. There is a button on the back of the tailgate just right under here. There's two buttons. One locks the car and the other one does the tailgate. So you press the other one and that's one that will unlock the tailgate and open up the back. And coming into the back here, we can see there's actually a good amount of storage space back here and you do get extra storage underneath this you can pull out basically so that you have even more storage these are just kind of like added on little like floorboards but you do have a cargo cover you can put and then you can fold those rear seats down if you do need even more storage space for the back passengers and then to lower down the tailgate just press that button and the tailgate will lower right down and while the tailgate's lowering down, we can kind of go over the design in the back. So we have these nice LED lights that wrap all the way around. I like the design on them from the rear. They look really good at night. And then they do more of the chrome accents in the back there and then on the bottom of the bumper as well. And if you're wondering, the exhaust tip is just right there under the SUV. They kind of hide it on the Rogues. Coming around to the side here, we can mention the rims. They are these nice alloy rims in the front and the rear. They've got some kind of like more of a kind of, I wouldn't say polished finish, but kind of more of a low gloss finish on the rims. And so they look really good and they match with the black and the chrome accents that will go on this particular Rogue. Coming around to this side here, we can open it up, look at the door panel overall. So you got some nice leather trim with some contrasted stitching. They have some trim here that kind of is sort of mimicking carbon fiber. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera very well, but I like how it looks and it's got a more gloss finish and that's kind of what I prefer is a more gloss finish on trim like that. Coming into the back here, we've got some vents. There's a good amount of space here for the rear passengers. And here, let me step back so you can see the seats. Nice leather seats again with the stitching throughout. And the hump down there is actually not very big and so you could very comfortably fit three people in the rear. Now to the front, you've got your keyless entry system. So one touch to lock it. And then if you want to unlock it, press it again. That'll unlock it. And I'll step back so you can see the door panel again. More of that leather bolster with the stitching. Window controls are all right there, mirror controls. It does have memory seats. And then you get more of that carbon fiber looking trim that's finished in the gloss finish. Now we can look at our seat controls all right here. They are power adjustable seats with the lumbar controls and Looking at the front seats, again, they've got these nice bolsters, so they'll somewhat hold you in place, but they're not super aggressive to where they're uncomfortable. And so if you are a little bit bigger or wider in the torso area, then you can fit in these seats very comfortably. We're going to step in and step in height is really easy since this is an SUV. So it's easy to get in and out of the vehicle. Now to start up the rug, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and push the push start and the car will start right up. The gauges will do a sweep. So I'm actually going to start down here. You've got a bunch of buttons down here. So that's for your safety tech to turn some of the stuff on or off or go into the menus for it. Your tailgate, your gas release, stability control. That's for your heated steering wheel, your all-wheel drive lock, sport mode, and then eco mode. All those buttons are over there to the side. 
And then on the front here, we can see our controls for the adaptive cruise controller right there. And then you have your controls for your phone and Bluetooth. And then on the other side, you have controls for the center stack. We'll go over that momentarily. And then all of our radio controls with our controls right there for the volume. Now coming to the gauges here, we've got our RPMs over here on the left. On the right side, you have your speedo and then you've got your gas gauge with that as well. And then we have this little center screen that we can kind of configure. So you can see you can pop between the different things. You can have it be like a little speedometer. You can see a little compass, radio stations, go through your safety tech. And like I said, there's a safety shield button, so you can turn that on or off. And that's gonna go along with stuff like your lane departure assistance and adaptive cruise control. So it's neat that they give you all that function, but you can see basically every bit of information on the vehicle with this little center screen. Now popping over to the touch screen, we have all of our analog controls here for the touch screen. And then it is an actual touch screen as well. So you can use buttons or the touch screen, which I'm a huge fan of that because sometimes I like to use buttons. Sometimes I like to just use the touch screen, but your radio stations, Bluetooth, everything is going, and navigation is all going to be on this touch screen. And here is the navigation, so you can kind of see what the map view looks like. And then if we pop the rogue into reverse, so we just pull the shifter back, backup camera will pop up, and you see you get a bird's eye view as well. And so you can see as I turn the lines right here, it'll turn the trajectory line. So it's nice that we get kind of like this 360 camera system as well as a traditional backup camera so that just parking and all that's going to be the easiest and since this is an SUV it's going to make that a lot easier. Now coming down below we have all of our controls for the dual zone climate right here and just down below there we've got our controls um, basically if you want to charge your phone, USB auxiliary, all that kind of stuff. We've got our shifter right here and you can see that there is a dual shift mode if you want to shift the gears yourself but I actually like how this shifter is finished in this black material. It looks really good and it feels really nice as well. And then right here we've got our controls for the heated seats, center console right here with the contrasted stitching. And then we can open this up, extra storage in here, more charging stations as well. So definitely a nice little center console setup and I actually like the design on this as well. Now coming around here we've got our glove box. Owner's manual is going to be in there and there's quite a bit of storage space so definitely something that's really easy to use. Some things up on the interior. I definitely love the design of the interior overall. It's a very nice design and the stitching that they do throughout and the soft touch materials that they use throughout are very nice so definitely a more upscale interior and so if something that luxury is important to you then this SL trim is definitely the trim to go for. Now that we are done going over the interior and all the features there, let's take the 2019 Nissan Rogue out for a test drive just to see how this new Rogue handles. setting off here in the 2019 Rogue and first impressions is it actually feels pretty zippy for an SUV which is definitely something that I like. Ride quality is um, smooth. It's not as smooth as that Altima that I just did a video on and that's pretty typical for SUVs since they're a little bit higher up off the ground they aren't going to be as smooth suspension wise. Now in terms of road noise to the exterior, it's actually really quiet in the cabin and so it's definitely a car that, you know, just from a road noise drivability perspective, you could just drive it like that every single day and not be annoyed by any means. In terms of power delivery, it's pretty good. Um, in terms of an SUV, it's more than enough power, but it's not like sports car quick or anything like that. steering feel on the Rogue again is very very light and so from a steering perspective really comfortable you don't have to put any effort really into doing the steering so it's something that you could drive every single day and just very comfortably and you don't have to put any effort into it which is something that I really like. Ability throughout the car is actually really good there's not a whole lot of um, blind spots and with all the safety tech that this car comes with you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff anyways it's very comfortable and feels very safe and solid around you. Now to wrap things up where this stands, this is in that same category as, you know, the Toyota RAV4 and the Honda CRV and just all those, you know, kind of like mid-sized SUVs, which that's, you know, one of the hottest segments right now. The third row SUVs are becoming a little bit more popular because of practicality, but this segment of SUVs is still super, super popular.
And so what I would definitely say is if you're in the market for any of those other SUVs that I mentioned, or you're just kind of looking for a vehicle that's a little bit higher off the ground that still gets really good fuel economy, but then has the added practicality of an SUV, then the Nissan Rogue is definitely one that you have to check out. They have a ton of safety tech. The interior definitely feels a lot more upscale and it's just a solid offering overall, especially the price point that they have these at. And there we have it, everyone, the 2019 Nissan Rogue. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And again, big shout out and thank you to Tim Daly Nissan of Murray. This is actually their extra lot where they have to store vehicles because they have so many vehicles on their lot. But if you are on the market for a Nissan, check them out. But as always, if you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought, and then I will see all of you in that next video.